Chichich boy fist in the his house. Bring another great addition. Black eyes in the box. Cause you know what's hot. And I'm gonna start my uh, parallelism or my my parallel videos called the road to the game changer. Like the road to the commander. Mine's gonna be called the road to the game changer. Basically, this video does nothing more than validating my point. And that is uh, using Ghost with Sensor and any other combination that you see fit for your style of gameplay uh, is basically forces the other team to use a one-dimensional style of gameplay to play against you. This kit, this style of gameplay is the tops in Black Ops. And everybody, if everybody were starting to play like this, then you would be forced to counter it. And I see a lot of quotes in people's messages like, "Oh, I can use Hacker Pro, and uh, I can, I can do uh, SR71." Well, yeah, of course you can. Of course you could. You could get Hacker Pro, but every time you prestige, you have to get Hacker Pro. All I have to do is buy a sensor, and I'm set. I use SR71. You gotta get eight kills. You still have to get eight kills. The point is, it's just too easy. Statistically speaking, I have the advantage of on the majority of people who game to play this particular style of of gaming. It beats it. It beats everything. It's the trump card. It's the ace of spades of gameplay. My road to Game Changer uh, validates this in every single video that I'll post with the sensor now. I will change the way people play. I will change because literally if I don't do it, later on down the road, everybody's going to play like this. And by the time it, it becomes an issue, it'll be too late to change it. And then everything else will be useless in the game and it won't be fun to play anymore. And that's it. And it doesn't matter, it's not the weapon. I could use tons of other weapons. And I'd still be able to beat you with it. Now you can see here, I, I laid down the sensor. And automatically, it's it's you know paying me dividends. Now I use it with a different style. Like, I use it as a checker. Instead of going in there and just rushing in. You know, I leave the sensor there and it tells me where everybody's at. It's like free kills. Cannot defeat it. I'm running ghosts with a silent spaz. It's unbeatable. The, the Silent Spaz is an SMG killer. An SMG player, if they were to come up to, uh, against you, you will defeat him every single time. For the simple reason, every single, every one of his bullets. And this, see, here's the thing. When you run the Spaz with the Silencer, it rewards players who have good agilities on the stick. So if you're going up against an SMG player, it takes six bullets, five bullets to kill you. I can I can move left, I can move right, one pump, two pump, bam, look at this, boom, boom, look at that. For you to even get a fix on me, look at that, look at that movement. That's what I'm talking about. That's the difference. It, it Basically, it comes down to, the game comes down to campers with ghosts uh, and assault rifles and people who play like this with the sensor or... You could roll with the jammer. Either way, you'll be either forced into using ghost hacker jammer or ghost sensor and whatever else. Ghost sensor, it's the thing is, if you use ghost sensor, everybody else has to use to get close to you. Ghost hacker to see the sensor. And then once they see the sensor, you have a longer range with the jammer to block it to you so you can get close to dislodge those people. So it's harder for a person to be a jammer player than versus being a sensor player. Now here I took it to the next level. I wanted to see if I could pick up the um, the big bird. And I did. Picked up big bird. And um, just proves my point. This is a 9v9 team deathmatch. More variables more changes more unpredictability if you could do that in a 9v9 you could do it in a 6v6 a lot easier so this just proves my point um you know all i'm doing is trying to validate a point i was the one that you know said listen the 87s 
You know, I showed the problem after they patched it. I showed the problem with one man army. I posted those videos on Machinima. You know, Infinity Ward fixed some of it, but really it didn't matter. But all this is going to do is change people's style of gameplay. And the only reason you're not seeing it now is because, you know, it's just like a wave. It takes a while. It's like a tsunami. It sucks in. You see the water recede. People are like, oh, look, what happened to the water? And all of a sudden, this big tsunami comes. Boom! Everybody's playing like that. Now, I'm not saying you're going to play like that with a shotgun. I'm saying there's different, there's different tech. There's different breeds of players with the sensors. Some don't move. Some set up a corner. And look, look at that. Just this corner. Just look at the sensor. How it's just feeding me. And I just... How sick is that? And it was just feeding me. And I just... I didn't even have to worry about where they were coming from. As long as I had that corner on lockdown, there's nothing they could do to me. So anyways, another road to game changer. And this is your boy Fist. Keeping it real. Till next time. Peace. I'm out.